Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to set up the um, IKEA um, air quality monitor. Um, so um, you probably everyone know recently we have some air quality issue uh, because of the, the wild fire from Canada and the pollution issue. That's, that's why I decided to do some research on air quality monitors. And um, one cheaper solution I find is from IKEA because most of the other brands, they're like at least a couple hundred dollars. Uh, now the downside of the IKEA uh, smart home system is uh, they always require a hub. It's not gonna work through your Wi-Fi or anything. So one thing to remember is uh, uh, this IKEA air quality monitor, it only works with their new hub. Um, uh, this they just came out this this year. It it's kind of like a, a thinner and bigger version than the older one. Older one. Um, I had other IKEA smart uh, home products in my house, mostly uh, smart blinds and bulbs and uh, plugs. And I was using the old hub for years. Uh, unfortunately, this new monitor is not working with the new hub, and that forced me to upgrade to the newer hub. Um, in there, um, but then if this is the only IKEA product you are having, you don't have anything else, uh, you may want to reconsider whether you want to invest in this hub. It's not really cheap. All right, so let's talk about the sensor itself. So I just opened the box and trying to find everything in there. So one thing you want to know is it comes with the sensor itself and one cable in there. It does not include uh, the plug. So you're gonna have to either buy a plug from Ikea or use a plug, say from your old cell phone. Uh, it's just any plug that takes USB-A port. So, um, so currently I'm just using a hub in there and I'm gonna plug it in. Uh, one thing I want to notice is all the sensor is in the back. So uh, see there's no like holes, anything. So. This is where it sends everything, wherever you put it, you got to make sure you have a, you need to make sure you have enough space to allow the air circulation in here. So, all right, I'm going to plug it in. So it does have a screen to at least show something. So again, I mentioned before, wow, I like this. So the, the number just pop up immediately. So I just did a review to another sensor. It's Amazon air quality sensor. So the other sensor from Amazon, every time you plug in, it requires seven minutes calibration. So surprisingly, like this sensor, uh, the number just pop up immediately. Um, um, accurate or not, but at least I like how quick it is. So anyway, um, now to, to get it connected, uh, certainly you can just use it by itself, right? If you don't care about anything smart and just read it. But then if you want to read it by your phone uh, or you want to use it to trigger any other device, say a air purifier, so you're going to want to get it connected to the IKEA hub. So uh, you, ha you have to first download the app from IKEA. So one thing you want to make sure is... Um, since IKEA um, have a new hub now, it requires a new new app. So if you go with, go to Google Store, um, one thing you would notice is uh, if you search IKEA Smart Home, there are two apps. So the old one with old hub is called Smart Home 1. Um, the new one is called Smart Home. Make sure you download the yellow one, not, not the white one. So to get it connected, I guess you click add a product to your home. And what do you want to add? Uh, I want to add air. And uh, I want the air sensor. So plug in your sensor. Yeah, it's plug in and quick press the pairing button four times so which i think it's this one boom 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 four times and wait for the pairing icon to show on the display so you see this icon looks like a pin um 
it's flashing and this our parent icon is there looking for sensors let's see how quick it connects uh, in the old time with IKEA old hub whatever you want to connect you have to bring it to the hub like really close um, current my this I'll see how this new hub perform perform um, currently the hub is in basement I'm in the first floor it's a pretty long distance so <laughs> we'll see whether it's a big improvement compared to the old hub or not it says we're sensing something close by so hopefully they're not just saying it I'm sensing that it is having difficulty. We'll see. <laughs> now, once again, I notice is temperature is on Celsius, not Fahrenheit, so. I think to change that, you're probably going to have to use an app. And this is humidity. This is PM. It's showing a number. Um, box, it's just showing the trend. Uh, flat, up, or down. I'm not sure if using the app I can do any reading or not. Um, well... It says we can't find anything nearby. Maybe I'll try again. Power is on. Parent icon. Click it four times. Um, will blink then stay on. So let's try again. One, two, three, four. No. Oh. Our right, one product found. All right, find it. So we'll just call the sensor one for now. And you need to add it to a room. So I'm planning to put it in bedroom two and down. All right, I'll say this process is actually pretty smooth. Uh, in the old time using IKEA old hub, you have to bring everything next to the hub. But then it seems like at least this new hub does not, we do not need that. So uh, here's what it looks like. So at least in bedroom two, you can see some readings, temperature, at least temperature is very high now, uh, humidity and PM number. And uh, let's click it to see. All right, so it's still showing these three numbers. Um, so humidity, temperature, PM. Um, unfortunately, it's not showing anything about the Vox. Um, Vox means uh, organic or chemicals in the air. Like uh, if anyone of you is like me, sensitive to those uh, paint smell um, or any of the cleaner disinfect, uh, you use them, you can immediately smell it. So that's kind of smell they're talking about. Um, the IKEA, um, the Amazon sensor is actually show number, but then it seems that IKEA is it's it's showing on the screen. There's a trend flat going up and down, but then I'm not seeing anything on the app. Let's click editing in there, so you can change the room, change the name about the product. Um, so there's some more explanations on, um, like where you are on temperatures. 
Currently, it's mild. Humidity, it's comfortable. Um, well, I think that's that's it. Uh, I'm not seeing anything I can use to read the box reading in there, unfortunately. So I think it's just on the screen. Uh, another thing I wish it can show is a trend. So what I mean is, um, um, if um, say, so this is another uh, sensor recently I'm trying. I think it's called Guvi. That's the brand name. Not, I'm not sure if my pronunciation is correct. So what you can see is you can see the trend, like temperature going up and down during the day, and uh, humidity going up in the day. And then it it tell you more history in there. And it seems like this IKEA is really the reading for now, uh, not much. So I based on what I'm seeing in here, I don't think this is something I like, especially based on the price in there. Um, I I wish it shows the box reading instead of just on the screen. The second wish I have is I wish it shows more about the history instead of current reading. And one thing I do like is this new hub. Um, you are able to share um, the same hub across different people in the family uh, so that everyone can read it. Um, the problem I have with the um, uh, Amazon sensor is that uh, only I can see the sensor reading from my um, Alexa app and the other people from my family, they cannot see it. So, um, so, all right. Uh, so I think I just triggered my Alexa in there. Uh, Alexa is pretty chatty, by the way. So, all right. So that's, uh, I think, everything about it. Um, I hope my video helpful because, uh, honestly, I was searching some other uh, YouTube videos and I wasn't able to see any like picture like this to knowing what information can we see uh, on the phone besides the screen in there so hopefully uh, my video help you to make the, your purchasing decision uh, if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you